have a tree and it is kind of bird related. We have uh, birds on it. Uh, small bird houses and bird feeder ornaments. These were all gifts from Debbie over the course of several years. She knows I like to feed the birds, watch the birds, listen to them, <laughs> watch them fight with each other. Anyhow, cardinals are my favorite. So there are red birds on the tree. Uh, since we don't have a lot of decorations, we thought maybe you would like to see our son, my son and daughter-in-law's trees. They have six throughout their house. Uh, she collects antique Christmas ornaments and each tree is different, decorated differently. She usually starts in early November, so they're all finished by Thanksgiving, and she decorates them all herself. They're very pretty. Uh, was started quite a few years ago by me, and for lack of a better title for it, it's called the Smith Christmas. And we started it because the family was getting bigger and too difficult to get everybody together at the same time. So this is a time when we can all get together under one roof for a couple hours and it is never held on Christmas Day. Sometimes it's between Christmas and New Year. It may be a week before Christmas, a week into the New Year. It's just whenever we can get everybody together. So this year it is postponed because of the virus situation. We don't know when it will be at this point. It may be 4th of July for all we know but we're still hoping to be able to do it. And when church reopens and they start to schedule events and programs, I plan on helping whenever I can. That has been a big part of my life. I've always enjoyed it and I miss it. So I'm hoping to do that again in the future. <laughs> so other than that, Debbie and I would like to wish everybody a very happy, healthy new year. And we hope that many blessings come your way in the new year. And we hope to see you soon again.